Good afternoon, Woke fam. Today we are getting into the probably the most significant executive order that Donald Trump has has issued for this country and is going to set the stage for the future of AI in this country for decades to come. Basically what has happened on Monday, Trump signed an executive order creating the Genesis Mission, a national initiative designed to remake America's scientific enterprise by embedding advanced artificial intelligence across federal research programs. And guys, I know that sounds a little scary. This sounds like the uh, the, uh, the Skynet is coming, the robots are coming, some Terminator type shit. But I'm telling you guys right now, this is the true beginning of what they're calling the Manhattan Project, but for AI and the AI arms race is official underway with China. So what exactly is this? Here's seven points to go over exactly what this uh, mission genesis is and how it's going to affect this country and maybe just maybe reset the economy and everything else for maybe a truly golden age for this country. This is where we begin from Slightbringer over on X. The United States just declared AI the next Manhattan Project, but this time the bomb is called Cognition. This executive order marks a strategic turning point for the entire world system. Here's the breakdown. Here's number one. This is the formal start of centralized state-backed AGI acceleration or quote integrated AI platform with access to all federal scientific data sets means something very specific. The U.S. government is building a national brain. Sounds like uh, I know people think some some uh, some type of like minority report, but that's not this is way bigger than that. Every data set that historically sat soiled in NIH, DOE, NASA, NOAA, DARPA, NSF, CDC, FDA, USDA, Census Bureau, and Intelligence adjacent sciences archives will flow into a unified training substrate. This has three consequences. Model capability jumps because those data sets contain precisely the kind of high signal structure, long horizon information frontier models need. The U.S. eliminates the data gap with China, whose state apparatus already has unified access and C. The line between open model, frontier model, and state model is going to be dissolving. That's basically saying all these private companies that have been working with uh, AI this entire time, the government is now going to be getting involved, whether for better or for worse, um, and ringing them back in and ringing them back in uh, under their umbrella to all work together to have a unified uh, AI front. This is, yeah, this is federalization of the upper levels of AI capability. Two, the Manhattan Project comparison is not rhetoric. When government historically used that phrase, it signals emergency reconstruction of the industrial base, compression of multi-year R&D cycles into months, wartime priority for compute, talent and infrastructure, secrecy walls around critical science, and national labs becoming the command centers of breakthrough tech. Urgency and ambition comparable to the Manhattan Project means the U.S. is preparing for a world where controlling AGI is equivalent to controlling nuclear dominance. This is a geological, geopolitical pivot, not a technological one. Three, it ends the era of decentralized frontier AI. Up to now, frontier AI was defined by corporate labs racing each other, but now this executive order is going to shift into unifying all those state lab run labs into one giant umbrella, and which brings us to the new phase that is state corporate corporate fusion. DOE labs have the fastest supercomputers, the deepest scientific data sets, experience running controlled high-risk research, and the only institutions with Manhattan Project muscle memory. This means Anthropic, OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Meta, XAI, and the rest will now be advisory orbiters, not the center of gravity. And guys, that's been how it's always been for since this all started. And uh, you have all these companies right now that are in the public mindset. And they are all going to be on the outside. And the government is officially taking over because, again, this is all about dominance and information, logistics, and also innovation, and also being on top and fighting off China as the number one. The center becomes DOE and DARPA and NSF and national labs and selected private partners. This is how the U.S. builds the national AGI. Four, it is the clearest signal yet that the AGI is closer than publicly admitted. Government do not pre-allocate scientific compute and intelligence resources like this unless the internal consensus is we are inside the AGI window. Every time in history the U.S. government created a new executive architecture around a frontier technology, it was because the breakthroughs were already close enough that failing to coordinate would cause strategic collapse. We all know the government is always decades ahead, fam, of AI and technology already. And the fact that this is all coming out publicly now means they're already on the forefront of this, and now it is critical to rein in all assets, all companies under one umbrella to get this done. And that's exactly what's happening with this Manhattan style, Manhattan Project style project here. And this is where it gets interesting. Bitcoin implications, the arc steepens. This order accelerates U.S. tech dominance, capital inflows, 
productivity expectations, and national AI industrial build-out. This is bullish for high beta, non-sovereign collateral assets. And guys, the way the economy is going, that debt is not going anywhere. There's going to be a need a hard reset because the way that the debt's going, it's going to collapse at some point. And no one sees a way out of this, but maybe just maybe this is going to be a solution for it. We don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. And why is this? Because AI acceleration compounds debt-driven fiscal expansion, which compounds liquidity needs, which compounds the bid for neutral stores of value. The AI arc and the Bitcoin arc are now entangled. This executive order tightens this coil. The real meaning, the U.S. just admitted the world is entering the compute sovereignty arms race. China already has unified state control, industrial alignment, demographic pressure to accelerate. And what is the response from us over here in the United States? Well, we're going to fuse the national labs with frontier AI, turn the entire federal scientific archive into a weapons grade training substrate, and it's all about global power. And at the end of the day, the bottom line, the United States is saying AGI is real, near and strategically decisive. We will not be second. It is the most important policy action of 2025 so far. So far, and the executive order will be remembered as the moment the AI race became a state level Manhattan Project style contest for civilization scale dominance. Everything, fam, accelerates from here. And just to give you an idea of what this is, the Department of Energy is going to be spearheading this. And they put their own video out to the public to let them know exactly how and what this is going to do, guys. And this goes into quantum computers, quantum physics, guys. And we all want those technologies. We all want those uh, the zero-point gravity we all want the uh, the endless energy, right? I don't know if that's where this is all going to go, but it looks like to me that nuclear is being replaced with AI as far as importance and priority. And this is what the Department of Energy put out for the world to see, fam. It's getting spicy. In every age, humanity invents new ways to see further. The telescope let us glimpse the stars. The microscope revealed the worlds within us. For centuries, thinkers like Leibniz, Shannon, and Turing dreamed of making all knowledge computable. But today, knowledge grows faster than our ability to understand it. Trillions of data points, a universe of information still unconnected. Now, a new instrument emerges. One capable not only of observing the universe, but of understanding it. Genesis Mission will transform how science is done in America, uniting our brightest minds, most powerful computers, and vast scientific data into one living system for discovery. Built on artificial intelligence and quantum computing, it will radically redefine the scale, speed, and purpose of scientific progress in America. This is the work that will define our generation's legacy. A new revolution begins, one guided not by competition alone, but by curiosity, imagination, and the belief that discovery is the truest form of progress. So fam, I'd love to know what you think about this. This is where, whether you like it or not, this is where technology is going. And we are on the forefront of this fam. And this may, this may just may hopefully be a key to uh, making this country affordable again and keeping us on the top edge of technology. And for better or for worse, we're going to see where it goes. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. We're having a live stream tonight at 5, 3 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be talking about this and so much more tonight on YouTube and on pill.net. So like, share, subscribe, comment, engage with the content, guys. And uh, we will see you guys all tonight at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, stay safe, stay strong, stay woke. Goodbye, friends.